I always knew, in fact, as he'll tell you himself, I was determined that I would be proud of my nephew's accomplishments. But what I could never have guessed is how much I would come to admire the man that he has become. Ladies and gentlemen, to Nicholas Cassidy. Speech! 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 In the words of another well known royal, um, let them eat cake. Oh, that's good. All right. Oh, we can't go yet. He has to make a speech. Oh. So speech is the last thing on any Oh, right come now. on. Come on now. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Speech. Yeah. Come on. Speech. 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 Come on. Go. Right, right, right. Go. Right. 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 Okay. okay. Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for being here. Thank you. Um, I was thinking that my first official act as an adult should be to have my brother beheaded, but <laughs> I guess maybe I should thank him instead because really it's a lot easier to say this to you as a crowd rather than one-on-one. -on -one. Aside from my uncle and Alexis, and Mrs. Lansbury, of course, there's really no one in this room that I've known longer than a couple of years. But uh, you've all changed my life. All of you, for the better. And I, I admit that uh, it didn't always seem that way. I mean, I've given some of you a hard time. I've given some of you worse than that. <laughs> but. Hey, what can I say? I was a brat. But I'm older and wiser now, and I know how to say thank you and mean it. So thank you. You are so... Long-winded like my uncle over there. <laughs> Handsome. I could cry. Thank you. And don't open up my present in front of Stefan. He'll kill me. Why you got me there? Oh, yeah. Hi, Miss you. Quite innocent. Step back from her. Well, Nicholas, I was only... I, I don't care to hear what you think you were doing. You just keep your distance from my mother. Why wasn't I informed of this? I told Mrs. Lansbury not to tell you. I, I didn't think it was necessary. I didn't want to spoil your evening. Well, Leslie Liu woke up and told me that she saw a beautiful lady with many teeth. She's such a little angel, I only wanted a closer look. You are completely dependent on me for every cent you spend and every meal you eat. Disturb my mother, my sister, or my brother again, and I will tell Alexis to go to the courts and revoke the income that my father settled on you out of the goodness of his heart, no less. You understand me? Well, I deeply regret having offended you on this, the anniversary of your birth, dear Prince. Is that, is that why you chose today to terrorize us? I brought you a gift. I won't accept it. Oh, but if you would only look at it. No, I won't. Nicholas, please. And if you continue to do this, then I will... No, don't! Sure. It was your father's. It was his medallion. If Stavros had lived, he would have had one made to place around your neck today. I miss him every day. Yet no one ever loved life as much as he did. It seems such a cruel trick that he would be outlasted by so many who do nothing but breathe and scowl. Sure, the guards don't let her out of their sight. Are you all right? Yes. I never knew she was afraid of him. Of his power. 
as well she should be.